Hi hey guys, welcome to the ninth episode of Iriador's Vault. Um, we continue our server tour today, and I'm here in uh, Geno's, Genotis base. Um, I thought I would show him first because he is my direct neighbor, and thanks to him I could build there, where I built. Oh, ah, see, in front of the map render. <coughs> oh well, um... Yeah, I thought it might be good to show his place first. Um, I've never been here actually, uh, not at least not in in yeah in uh, this kind of fashion. It seems he has built a little tower here. Ah, uh -huh, with stuff lying around here. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, he uses this maybe as base of operations. And as you might have seen already, there's a castle next to it. I think that's his too. So I'm gonna show you the castle. But I will to, sh to see the castle for myself, of course, but first, first objective is, of course, to show you. All right. Um, JT has another base somewhere else, um, but I think he would maybe uh, appreciate if I showed this place instead of the other one. So, Wall of Furnace. First grade. So, oh, there was the entrance. Oh yeah. Next time maybe. Okay, uh, so nothing much to see here, as it seems. It's still in the building. Oh well. Um, and I've seen something down there too. I'm not sure if this is um, any building or just a mine. Oh no, nothing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Great. Yes, just to speak in here. So well. Um, yeah, I think that's that's it for here now. Um, yeah, JT space. Uh, maybe I just hop over and show the show you the other one as well. See you there. And here we are. This is the alternate base of JT. Um, I'm gonna show you his tree farm over there. As you can see. Um, works kinda kinda easily and it will create in the end a big block of wood which you can then harvest. Um, it's not as efficient as uh, just running through the woods and chop down everything <laughs> but um, yeah, it's good for, for, for lazy people uh, when you don't want to uh, go around. Well I didn't see that before. This is new. Well hmm I don't know. Um, before we get up there, let me just show you this here. He has a knack for castles, I, ha I have a feeling. But this looks more like a village to me. See, so little blacksmith and... It's almost, it's almost a copy of an of a actual village. Almost. Oh, and here it goes down. Oh, and and he loves mossy cobble. I don't know why, but it is like that. Oh well, I thought this might be might be a mine here, but it doesn't look like. Maybe it's just to cover up some stuff here. Okay, then let's get up there. I brought a couple of end pearls because I had a feeling I might have to travel big distances. So this distances. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we are. Uh, well, it's uh, a storage, it seems. But it looks very nice from the outside. He should definitely improve that. It's definitely worth a look. Okay, then. Um, see you at the next place. And here we go again. This is Swagger Panda's place. 
it's <laughs> it's basically a big hole in the ground but it is really really nice uh, he made that look pretty good um, and before we go down there I want to show you this here this is another one of um, Aurora's creations he really is the guy on the server with the most insane builds uh, regarding ships it's no small wonder everyone wants a ship from him um, and he puts so much love into and detail into the interior and everything it's it's really good I like it a lot <laughs> this is so <laughs> amazing I don't know who who belongs the island to or or that thing in the sky here uh, but yeah well the thing in the sky maybe I have an idea but um, yeah I don't know for real but let's just concentrate on this here ouch um, this thing here floating in midair is a mob farm I think I heard um, and from time to time you can see actually um, mobs falling down here I just looked up if I'm the only guy on the server because usually when you're the only one uh, it works kinda good and then from time to time yeah things are dropping uh, there was just some gunpowder well um, the the trees around here were I believe an actual prank from somebody but uh, they looked so good uh, just panda let them stand which I can totally understand um, so yeah um, oh uh, hello mister um, we have uh, he has a lot of uh, ice here. I think he uses them kind of as windows, you know. Um, and to travel through the base, you have to actually go down. Um, also, he is working here like a madman to to get the stuff. Uh, yeah, look glassy. I think he has already prepared a bit. I show you real quick. Yes, over here. This is one step ahead, but this is what it's going to look like. And if you ask me, it looks goddamn fantastic. It really does. So, um, yeah, he put he put that that um, that brick everywhere. And um, on this side, I think this is some some means to travel between the oh between the floors but i seem not to understand it <laughs> okay um let's just go up the ladder again yeah he has also uh, a uh, jump boost with his beacons here it's quite a lot of effects i think it's almost all or it is all i don't know um but yeah um yeah th that's th that is the thing actually which you see when you go from here um and I think it looks pretty good. You see a desert temple over there from here and yeah. And I think this this coding here is uh, what is in the chest actually or what should be. He has much more storage down downstairs and yeah, well. Um let's just uh go one floor down. This is actually my main route yeah because I always use his his ender portal to reach the end. He also has this omega <laughs> pixel art on, on that side. I think this looks amazing. It really does. Um, yeah, and <laughs> he seemed to have added some light here as well. Yeah, and he, he here he used uh, the stone that is in the chest, or that should be in the chests, as uh, coloring here. That is actually pretty amazing. I like that, that style. And this looks... Dispenser. Mm -hmm. This looks like a, a nether ward farm. Uh, I'm assuming that when you power it on, the dispensers will shoot out water, and yeah, that's gonna be it in the end. Yeah, but um, let's get over here. Um, yes, that is the alchemy room. I don't know how that works. Let's just push a button. Have some... I don't have glowstone, so I... Do I have glowstone? No. Doesn't look like. This doesn't look automated, so I guess... 
Or maybe it's just it's just not working right now. Yeah, there is some wiring here going on. This leads down, but it has nothing to do, it seems, with the whole construction here. Hmm. I have no idea. Maybe it's not it's not working right now. Maybe it's just in the process of creating creas uh, <laughs> creating the thing here. Uh but I but I don't know. Well, somewhere the the, the stuff must be coming out, I guess. But it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, let's go on. This is more Netherward farm it seems. This is three levers, levers. And this is storage to no end. <laughs> I, I that was what I meant by uh, saying he has m some more storage down here, and it looks like he has some, yeah, quasi automated um, furnaces here going on, filled with blaze rods. Oh yeah, and he is smelling definitely. Ah, sorry, didn't have so much sleep last time, but I'm trying to improve that. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, and this is the treasury. It seems all kinds of blocks. Ooh, he won't notice. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes, really, a lot of emeralds, because he has some villager thing going on somewhere. Um, I don't know exactly where, but yeah. Okay, let's go on with that. Ah, uh, he has some <laughs> small library over here, and oh, uh, this looks actually fantastic with all the ores here. It's so tempting just to mine them, <laughs> uh, but it does really look fantastic, like uh, really some sort of treasury. I think I will create something like that at some point too, if I have made my uh, mind on design. Oh, you hear that sound? That is a slime. Oh, yeah, and I fell down, of course. Yeah, this is a library from from a from a stronghold. Uh, he he built his place, in fact, in in a stronghold. Um, so I guess uh, that are the remains. Yeah, and again here are the color coded chests or block coded chests, I have to say. Um, usually you could travel down here, but it doesn't look like it. Well. Then just go down here. Yeah. Um, as it happens, um, he seems to be in a slime chunk, uh, and that's why there are always slimes here. It's kind of a natural slime farm, which is basically the only thing stopping me from building a slime farm. A slime farm for real. I mean, uh, yeah, that's one farm we do not have on the server right now. So I'm um, <laughs> thinking about making one. But let's see. Um, yeah, he has some fantastic gardens here. It looks amazing. Uh, I don't know what the <laughs> what the ice or the snow in the background is. Uh, he has a. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I love those guys. Um, he has a snow farm, as it seems, or yeah, well, something like that. Um, maybe he wanted to cover everything here with snow. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, yeah, but it looks nice. So he. Always does this with the leaves, and I think this this looks kind of nice. Oh, witherhead! He can even use witherheads for decoration. I can't believe it. So, what is this? Oh yeah, a reed farm, not as big as daggers, but uh, still. Oh, oh, oh! He tried himself at <laughs> at a chicken farm, it seems, and they are starving in the wall. It looks like, and yeah. Uh, just drop them in here. That help us take them, or are they full? Of... Oh Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, there goes the madness. Forty-eight, forty-nine. He might breed them uh, automatically, which is kind of dangerous because, as you can see here, the hoppers are all full. Oh Jesus Christ! That's way too many eggs. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, yeah, no, I won't talk to you. I don't know what that is going to be, but... 
I'll be sure to keep you guys informed when I know it, or when it comes to mind. Um, over there, there is some melon and um, pumpkin farm. I want to show you that before we come to the right here. Um, looks pretty big, to be honest. Oh, and there are slimes behind that. <laughs> of course. Hello. Um, yeah, looks like a regular slime farm. Uh, slime farm? <laughs> no, of course not. A slime farm, but a melon farm. And this is a pumpkin farm, as it seems. Automated, as far as I can tell. Oh, I still hear those slime sounds. Ah, he must be up there. Okay. But anyway, let's look at that underground tree farm. Looks kind of nice with all these, um, ouch, with all these pots he made for them, and it's all kind of trees: birch, oak, jungle, and sprouts here. And I know for a fact that he has back there a tree farm because I built it for him. Um, it's essentially the same design that John O.T. and and I use. Um, I have no idea uh, where I got the idea for that design or who gave me that design. I, I have really no clue. Um, but basically this is a tree farm which uh, is growing automatically trees and I'm pushing them constantly here. Um, JT even evolved it uh, that, as you could see, um, that the blocks get pushed into one big block of, of wood. So yeah. Um, let's continue here. Uh, well, um, I don't know what is on the lowest floor, to be honest. I have a feeling that it's just a mine, but I don't know for certain, so let's just have a quick look. I don't want to tell you here for too long and bore you guys. Um, oh, there's chickens in the water. Yeah, that is from his farm. Uh, and the giant slime, of course. Um, yeah, well, how to get in there? here. Alright. Um, oh, hello, sir. Um, I have no idea what that is going to be, but this leads to the, the stronghold remains, kind of. Oh, and there is Mr. Slime. And there is glowstone everywhere, and gold. No idea what that here should be. No clue. Um, but it looks like he didn't even mind to to, <laughs> to remove the the ores. I can hear them everywhere. It's crazy. Okay, well, um, I think we should go up then. Yeah. Um, but this is it anyway. I think for for this place. Um, I might just hop over and show you a little bit he built too. Um, yeah, let's see you there. Okay, and here we are. And you see that guy here? I don't know if it's a golden golem <laughs> or if it's a villager who's just pretty wide. Um, I don't know. Uh, but um, it is definitely a villager thing here going on. Um, he has a little house over there. I don't know what that should be looks like a mixture of library and underground whatnot, but there is nothing down there, I already looked. Um, and there's villagers, um, not everywhere, but in certain places. And he uses them for trading, um, to get emeralds and all other stuff, maybe, um, I don't know. Um, there is still one guy hopping constantly here, I don't know. <laughs> It's, maybe it's a villager torturing machine, I don't know. Um, he has some fields here because some villagers actually trade wheat for emeralds. Um, but most are, I think the, the best villagers here are the ones trading paper, which is those guys. Yeah, paper deal is off now. He doesn't have a, a perfect villager right now where you can have infinite paper deals, but he has sure some, some nice deals here going on, like looting two books or infinity books, glowstone, wool, that kind of stuff. Um, 
that gives you a pretty good boost. Um, and somewhere behind there, I guess, is the villager breeder. He built that all above a big ass ravine here, and it looks kind of cool. Yeah, especially with that gold golem from there. But okay, I think uh, you'll be ready for the next guy. Oh, the next basis from a guy. <laughs> well, see you there. And this is the base of Markov. Base is probably <laughs> not the right word, as you might see already. <clears throat> it is more like a city. Um, yeah, and if you wonder where I'm standing here, <laughs> as the sign already uh, spoiled, <clears throat> it's the L set Led Zeppelin. You might uh, you might wonder why is it called Led Zeppelin? Is that guy a huge rock fan? Um, he probably is, but that is not the reason for this one here. I think it has more to do with uh, where we are right now, because in fact we are on a big giant zeppelin. You will see that from the outside here. <clears throat> and um, yeah, let me show you that. This row is always just painful because it's so close to the edge and you can fall off here pretty easy. But as you see this skyship is definitely worth it. It looks awesome. It d really does. Um, yeah, what can I say? Um, <laughs> Elsa Red Harmony is incoming. Oh well. Um, okay, um, I have no idea where I should start off. I think I have to make this much quicker because uh, if I'm going to show you every bil building, uh, we will be here like forever. Um, that is one of the newest additions here, I think. It is a motel, actually, or a hotel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as you can see, the prices are pretty steep, um, but the view is definitely worth it. Um, yeah, even even the the smallest of rooms has a fantastic view to the outside. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing. This whole thing is built right in the jungle at some yeah mountainous region of the jungle and it's working so good with with the the natural shape of the land this is fantastic um but let's just go through this here this um should give you the impression of some cargo store or port or whatever uh, because it also has a crane here <laughs> right there and uh, yeah, this looks like little shops everywhere. And they are crafted so neatly. I like them a lot. It was one of the first buildings uh, I looked at when I came here on the server and I was just amazed and intimidated. I, s I thought, no, I cannot beat that. I can never beat that or be c at least close to it. Yeah, <laughs> and, um, I still can't. Um, yeah, and he has also attached a flag now. As you wonder what these little birds are, this was a prank actually Aurora played on him. And um, he liked those guys so much, he just left them there. Um, I think they add quite to the to the detail here. Um, not so much the zombie over there, but uh, yeah. We have to be careful because uh, Markov is known not to light his roofs. Um, so things could be dropping on you here, so be careful. Um, yeah, but he has all kind of different houses and uh, oh yeah, the <laughs> this is the map render marker for Airhaven. Oh, <laughs> this is insane. There's a train station and uh, what is that? The old mill and brewery. Oh, I have to show you that. <laughs> See, this looks like some um, kettle uh, they use for beer production. As a German, you will know will know that. Um, and this is basically like a restaurant they they have uh, always with those breweries and uh, yeah it looks pretty nice actually it, it gives you kind of the impression of that place uh, if you have seen anyone so yeah um, I think this looks really nice and this is a pump <laughs> I guess I guess I don't know for sure um, well um, I don't know 
this place goes in all directions, so this is kind of hard. <laughs> An atelier for sale. Um, this will be steep as well, because it's right in the middle of it. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, um, another one for sale. I thought this might be the doorbell. <laughs> huh. Yeah, but, well. I'm always stunned when I come here, just because I cannot grasp the, the amount of it. <laughs> I'm I'm not not nearly close to, to having such a big build. Um and this looks just fantastic. This bridge here, he he crafts everything with so much love to detail. And I know for a fact that this is a movie theater, we have to see that. <laughs> it's it's just hilarious. See? <laughs> Even with the curtain and the black wall. I mean, it's not that big, uh, big uh, cinema, but uh, well, it definitely is enough. Uh, it could also be just a regular theater. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, and here the walkways and everything. These are new too. I don't know them. Oh, they are for sale. Yeah, after after Aurora, he is the second one to have uh, actual city here. But um. Yeah, it's it's kind of uh, a question what you prefer, you know. Rockport is more more the the coastal, medieval thing, and this here looks more like some some island paradise. <laughs> I don't know, um, but I guess uh, I could have a liking. Them. Oh, this this looks like a drawbridge, you know, like um, permitting ships to go through the river here. Oh, and there's something behind there too. I don't know what is there, but I can't go there <laughs> uh, on night because the jungle is so damn dangerous. Um, ah, the port authority. Well, um, that reminds me of my build actually. I have a I have a port too. So, um, oh, this is this is right within within motion. I think he's just building on that. But pretty awesome. I like his builds so much. Oh, and see here, the warehouse. Storage. I wonder if he... no, it's no personal storage. I've never, I've never gotten around where he has his actual stuff. Because I, I had the notion it, it might be kind of badass, <laughs> as these structures already suggest. Oh, and he has a boat here. I didn't know about that. Morkov's Jungle Cruise, the SSN. <laughs> Built by Joss Yachting Solutions. Oh well. Oh, there is quartz in the ceiling! I can't believe it! They use quartz for the ceiling. Oh god. Oh, this looks like some Louisiana uh, <laughs> ship with a uh, furnace here. Oh, almost fell into the ocean of war. Oh yeah, um... Well, let's uh, take a faster route up here, I guess. Okay, this <laughs> this wasn't what I wanted, but yeah, I'm here anyway. Um, um, maybe here, and then maybe here. Yes, that did it. Oh well. Um, yeah, that was the. I don't know what that ah, that was the brewery here. And this is the town hall. Uh, I've been through here already. It looks quite amazing. It's more like some 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 old man's council. <laughs> with sitting places every could also be a, could also be a bar here. <laughs> yeah, with a bar maybe. Um Yeah, and this decoration is so nice. Also the little walkway here with the with the grass and everything. I love how the jungle grass looks. It looks so so lively and so vivid. Um, I kind of like that. Oh, and the university, of course, yeah. Morkov is a student, <laughs> so what would he build? Yeah, the dean office. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, bad bad news. Bad news. The chemistry lab. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Ah, see. Oh, even with the little, um, you know. Uh, source, water source. Of course, you need a water source for alchemy. Of course, yeah. Why not? Um, uh, chemistry. Sorry, chemistry. I'm messing up here. Um, 
I said a lot of times arm right now, but um, I don't think it can't be helped. I even said arm when I was saying arm and explaining arm, and there is a little bird, and yeah, well, it's not so little actually, but uh, yeah. Uh, this is map room and observatory. Oh, let's have a look at those maps here. Oh yeah, this is an actual map of the uh, spawn village, I think. It's not... Um, I don't think it's 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 actual. But... Um, or is it the spawn village even? I have no idea. <laughs> this this central building looks like the the portal hub, but I'm I'm not sure about the rest to be honest. And this looks like his village here, like Airhaven. Pretty good, pretty good. And the observatory. Yeah, well, there is the observatory lens, whatever thing is missing. Um, but still, it looks pretty awesome. Again, of course. He is probably one of the best builders on the server. Oh, and there's the library, of course. Yeah, library. Uh, <laughs> bookshelves everywhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, and there's a new building. Or at least a building I didn't see before. The chapel. Oh, oh. But there's the altar, missing man. You cannot miss the altar when you meet when you meet the chapel. Um, now we can look at that thing we saw. Oh. <laughs> Uh, somewhere in the distance. I hope I don't spoil or anything. I'm not even sure if it's his stuff, but it doesn't... Well... <laughs> this this place doesn't have Markov written all over it. It looks more like some player uh, ventured here and then thought, oh, there's a city in the distance. Okay, so um, I think we finish it at this point, um, yeah, and um, see you in the next base. Alright guys, and here we are at Jojo Joshua's base. Um, <laughs> as, you, as you can see already, the, the theme here is Arabia. And he did a pretty, pretty good job here. As you see a uh, there is a staircase leading down and everything, but we will first look at the interior here. Um, <laughs> each of these of these uh, entrances or, or walkways is is made so prettily, even with the water fountain and everything, and the little staircase leading up. It's fantastic. It really is. Like this, this um, <laughs> I don't know how you call that here. But this looks very like um, um, Arabia or um, the Alhambra in, in Spain. I'll see, and there are even walkways I didn't know about. <laughs> uh, Alright. Um, is there something up there? Oh, yeah, there is, there is, there is. It's just me missing up here. Oh, this was the storage room, okay. Um, so, let's get back down here. Um, that is the staircase that is leading down. I haven't been here in quite a while, so I don't know what the progress is here. Oh, 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 there has been a lot of progress, I see. Oh, look at this! <laughs> this is, this is like uh, an actual, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what the, what the tree is called, but you see them always on tropical islands. Uh -huh, and yeah, and there is a little spire here. I like that a lot. And he is right in the working process, it seems. And I hear chickens everywhere. In here? Maybe? No? Oh, it's getting louder. These seem to be little huts here for, for the desert village villagers. Oh, and he has also a market here with some stands. Oh, and a fantastic looking... looking... um spring and down below there is a storage it seems. I don't think you can go under it because this looks like it's ice because it's transparent and even more transparent than glass would be. Oh look at this! Um, it's a water pipe, a hookah or a shisha if you want to call it. 
That is pretty amazing. What have we down here? Ah, this is the access maybe for the storage then. Oh yeah. Oh this. Oh this looks amazing. I like this a lot. Oh. Hit that. That's so good. I'm digging that. But where are these chickens? Oh, and he has also a map of his stuff. Maybe I should make a map of mine. But where are these chickens? Oh, it's getting dark now. I hope it's mob, mob safe here. <laughs> Usually it isn't. Um, oh. Oh. This looks like another palace. Oh, look at this. Uh, this is for, for birds. Uh, uh, a bassin or two to yeah taking baths for them or is this a bathing house maybe I don't know we will see in time um oh this looks fantastic there's all kinds of stuff here <laughs> oh and there is also a railroad station uh this this might be what this is here oh yeah oh and is even that that um that thing where you destroy the minecart and then, yeah, well. Oh, this is a good idea. Actually, I should do that too. Um, the way he built that is, is actually pretty, pretty clever. Because you will always get from that spot to this one, but you will never get from this spot to that one. So you cannot get stuck. Like, um, I have I have this problem. I have slaps on my, on my railroad track. Um, to prevent uh, pigmen from spawning there uh, or from wandering there and if you have a cart then standing there um, you will get bumped back and then yeah <laughs> the problem will be you cannot get on, on the track again ah, and you can see Morkov's base from here I think those two are actually brothers and uh, yeah that's um, maybe that's the reason why they built so close to each other but uh, I don't know for sure and somewhere over here must be must be Wii U space. I bet you know that guy already from from his videos. Uh, they have been fantastic. Hey, buddy, thanks for that. <laughs> Makes my day. Um, oh yeah, this looks this looks great. I like that a lot. Okay, let's get over there. Oh, <laughs> not like that. Not like that. Like that. No. Nope. Um, okay. Well, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like that. There must be a chicken sty somewhere, or automated chicken farm, or something like that. There is a daylight sensor. That's a, that is kind of suspicious. <laughs> um, I know for a fact that he has a mob farm somewhere here, uh, but I don't remember where it actually was. I think it is down that way. Oh yeah. You can see Wii U stuff pretty good from here. I I'm on far render distance, maybe uh, you can't see it regularly, but uh, with that it worked pretty good. I had changed, uh, by the way, I changed to Optifine uh, to give you guys better performance maybe while viewing that, because I figured out sometimes the chunks just keep loading forever, and I wanted to prevent that. Um, yeah, well, yeah. Um, if you want to see Wii U, spa uh, Wii U space, uh, you can you can always watch his let's play. He made a show of, uh, at the first episode, um, but I will sure um, risk a look at his stuff too, uh, in time. Um, but for now, I think we're done here. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I will just circle around the base a little bit. Be careful that I do not run into mobs and <laughs> blow up stuff. Jojo build. Um, at least I hope. I don't know what he's doing here. <laughs> it looks like some testing ground or anything. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to show you the top of, of that building, but it seems like I cannot get f far enough away from it um, and show you, because it uh, might be too close. Ah, fell down, no good. Maybe like this. Oh yeah. Oh, no lighting here. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Um, yeah, he tries to make that out of lapis, 
so um, anyone on the server, if you guys want to donate uh, Lapis to some roof building, um, go ahead. Uh, I think he can use some donations here. And yeah, I think that's that's it for now. Um, I think we should end the episode here because it's uh, close to be 40 minutes, uh, I think. Um, I show you uh, quite big bases right now and I hope th we can we can add some more in the next episode. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot, uh, hope you too and uh, see you next time, thanks for watching, bye bye. <laughs>